Hi, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm well, order when you're ready please. Three Baja Chalupas, no, toma okay. no tomato. Okay. And does that have any of the Bartle Dew sauce on it? I'm sorry, what sauce here? The Bartle Dew sauce? No sir. Yo, turn it up. Oh, I've literally seen like five cops, four of them were on bikes and like motorcycles, not pedal bikes, obviously, and had people pulled over. And then I just saw another car getting pulled over as I got off the interstate. It must, like Katie was saying when I was talking to her, it's the closer to the end of the month, so they're trying to make their quota. I'm headed to the post office to go check the P.O. box. I got several tweets that y'all had sent stuff. I'm going to go see what's up. Thank you so much for sending stuff. Y'all don't have to do that. We really appreciate it. Um, it's just, it's so weird to me to grasp the concept of uh, snail mail and sending stuff to, and just like getting your handwritten letters is just amazing. Like actually holding something that you wrote on, uh, I don't know, it's just weird. It's kind of like me going back to me holding this camera by myself in the middle of my kitchen the other day. It's like I'm able to go in and reach in and grab you and touch a part of you. I just touched your arm. I'm never washing this finger again. <laughs> oh, look at all that stuff. What is all this? Y'all just killed it with the P.O. box, guys. Like, that is a lot of letters and stuff. I'm going to tweet a picture of it right now. But I don't know how many there are. But there, there's like a good chunk of mail here from y'all. We really appreciate it, guys. I can't wait to read it all. I've heard good things about this book. So Katie wanted me to come and pick up this book. What to expect when you're expecting, just so we can have it. And then I found this one. So I'm gonna get that one as well. Oh, Peekaboo, how are you? Hey, what is your name? Why don't you just come this way? And we'll go read some books. <laughs> Decided against the caveman book because I want to see if I can get it on Audible first because I've got credits at Audible. So I was like, well, I get a book if I can listen to it because I'll probably listen to it more anyway. But Katie just wanted to have this book just to have, you know? So I got it for her. Oh, you love your brush? God, I just went to pet her and she like shed all over me. Quit shedding on me, you little shed head. Come here. Let me give her a brush her. Let me brush her. Say, I like it when you brush me, Daddy. Yes, I do. I stick my butt in the air for you. Make you silky smooth. Oh my gosh, look at that. I'm just pulling it out in wads. It's that husky undercoat. That's where she gets her blue eyes, is that husky. You got husky in you, huh? Oh my goodness. Some of y'all have asked what type of uh, breed she is. And like when we're in Tuscaloosa and when we're walking her, everybody on the street's like, what breed is she? What, a, what type of breed that is? She is a Husky and a Bastinji mix. Oh, you know what I'm talking about you, don't you? Yes. She has the, uh, and the Bastinji is kind of like the Egyptian dog. Like if you think of the Egyptian statue and he's got his staff and his little dog, the Bastinji is that little dog with the long legs. She got the long legs and the curly, curly tail. There's actually a couple on YouTube, Ace and G. I'll put them below. Go check them out. Actually, go comment on their latest video because I'm sure Rory is in the video. Rory is a Basenji, a full-blooded Basenji. So you'll get to see the comparison of what Rory looks like to Adabel. Their same body and mannerisms are hilarious. She is a full Basenji, and they're usually brown and white. And Ada's black because she's got the husky in her. So... She is Basenji Husky. Mainly Basenji, I don't know, it's like a perfect even match. Or it's like a perfect even mix because she's got the thick undercoat, she's got the blue eyes, she's got the personality, like lovingness of a Husky, the loyalness, then the cuddle and just burst of energy from the Basenji with the long legs. I mean, she's just a perfect little mix. But yeah, go check out Ace and G and tell them that Ada Bell said hey. Tell them Ada Bell says hey to Rory. Okay guys, I just need to go ahead and show y'all this right now. I went and got the book, What to Expect While You're Expecting. And I opened up the package from, who is this from? It was from a couple, Amy and Ezekiel, or Ezekiel, Ezekiel? I don't know, how do you say that name? E-S-K-I-L, however you say that. 
they sent these cute outfits oh my gosh thank you so much and then a sweet letter uh, with their continued prayers from their family to ours. Thank y'all so much. Ada Bell just knocked off the clothes because she was smelling them. Who is that? What does that smell like? She's like, uh, what does this mean, guys? Please tell me there's poop in here that I can smell. Thank y'all so freaking much for all the love and support. I also went by Walmart and I saw this on the clearance rack and I was like, ooh, I need to start taking multivitamins because I need to start being healthy and I need to start working out again. I have abs. Absolutely no motivation <laughs> to go to the gym. I got these multivitamins and of course they're sour gummies because I'm always gonna be a kid. True story, when I was younger, I think it was me or it was my sister, I believe it was me and my sister, climbed up in our mom's pantry or cupboard, top shelf was like the medicine, and we ate all the Flintstone vitamins because <laughs> we thought they were candy. And we had to go to the hospital and all that kind of stuff because too much of vitamins is a bad thing. Have y'all seen this? Gourmet Spicy Ramen. I think it's ramen. Ramoon. Shin Ramoon. I wanted to try it. And then I just got some pickles because every pregnant household has to have pickles. Katie doesn't know that I've got this yet for her. Just boom. Chicken for lettuce wraps. And I got a head of lettuce, so we can have lettuce wraps at home. General Styles, chicken breast, yes. And we got ice cream and pickles, ice cream and pickles, ice cream and pickles, I love being pregnant. Ice cream and pickles, ice cream and pickles, ice cream and pickles, I love being pregnant. Ice cream and pickles, ice cream and pickles, ice cream and pickles, I love being pregnant. Boom. Actually, I don't. I love the stuff in our house, because you get what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Target balling with my muscle shirt on. <laughs> what are you doing? What do you so want? Crazy, what? You, you get so crazy when I turn this camera on. She hears it go, and then she starts going crazy. What are you doing? Huh? Did y'all like today's target balling picture? Go comment on my Instagram picture from yesterday and say zebra stripes on it so I know that you watched today's vlog. I said zebra stripes. <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm gonna get you. Oh no. I'm you gonna get you. Night -night? <laughs> what are you crazy? I'm gonna get you. you didn't. <laughs> he said, okay. Greetings, loved ones. Bucket of margarita right here and a bucket of margarita right here. That's for me to get hammered this weekend. You heard it here, folks. Tune in this weekend to see the pregnant girl get hammered. OMG. What does it look like to me? I showed y'all this earlier. It's gonna be dank as junk, and then I've got the ice cold lettuce ready to go right there. Look how fresh and so clean, clean. And then I got the sauce over here that I'm gonna put on top in a minute, and stir it in. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Thumbs up if you love lettuce wraps. Oh, there they are. I was gonna try to Instagram this, but then I realized I'm probably just gonna try to eat it instead. It's like a Chinese burrito. Some people like to hear mm. you divulge into something. It's good. You didn't even make one for your pregnant wife first. You're like, hang on, let me try this. I said, I said he's pouring on some rice noodle things. I said, that's plenty. If you're making that one for me, he goes, uh, -uh. <laughs> so that's for Instagram. It's like, mm. thanks, I appreciate it. Okay, well, I'm gonna. Go tr it just looks so runny. Mm. It's the sauce. Are you sure? Looks like you put too much oil because it's the sauce. Over there. Just eat it. Well, quit taking bites of it. How am I supposed to eat that? I'm gonna make you one. Do you like them watching you? Do you want them to leave? <laughs> oh my goodness, you're crazy. Did you go poopy? I, I get so excited when I go poopy too. Yeah, you, you, you want treat? You want a treat? We got new gravy bone treats for oh, you. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Great balls of fire! Target balling idea. Oh, 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 oh. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. I shake my nerves and I'm right in my brain. Uh, uh, too much love drives a man insane. Uh, uh, girl wheel, uh, uh, too, too. Woo, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. <laughs>
<laughs> I totally just mumbled through that. Mumbled. And I wish they could have seen you from behind because you're going like this trying to be all in the camera. But, you know, usually you'd be like dancing out here. You're like all dancing up small. I'm in my, I'm in my 16 by 9 frame. <laughs> hey, Belly. We listened Chilling. to the heartbeat yesterday. Last night, yeah. And she even said yesterday, and Stretching. she's like, I went three days, Cohen. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? She went three days without listening. Yes. And so, yeah, that was a big, big one yesterday. Yeah. Like going three it days, was. and then all of a sudden it was just. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I was just looking at some photos on here. We're getting some pictures made next week, real professional pictures by one of our friends who, Helen's friends that he has known since <laughs> high school. Ouch. Ouch. Stop, we're trying to talk, Ada. <laughs> Megan is her name and she is an awesome photographer and y'all should go check out her photography page. Links below. Yeah, it's Megan Davis Photography and she's really good, but she is a friend of Cullen's. Well, I guess she and her husband, he actually worked at your old job. Right? Yes. Um, but she also watches the vlogs. She's gonna do some pictures for us. And I know it's kind of early, like, I mean, I was kind of like, well, what do I do? Do I wanna do them now or later? Because I feel like I just look like I ate some cheeseburgers instead of <laughs> pregnant. But if we waited a lot longer, it'd be hot and we'd be nasty and sweaty. So we just, she just wanted to, we just wanted to go ahead and kind of get it done. So if y'all have any suggestions of like, cute photo ideas or what I should wear because I have no idea. Maybe we I should know. practice some photo ideas real quick. Mm. Let's go. easy it is oh yes look I can bend over again yay <laughs> no seriously though while we were vlogging that clip earlier talking about how we thought about doing it in the later like literally while we were vlogging once Colin turned off the camera before we were about to do these photo shoot pictures mm -hmm. she sent me a message and was like or if you want to wait till you're a little bigger then that'd be fine too I was like are you in my house reading my mind? yeah you did say that it was really weird um so we had just we were just talking about that and so I think what we're actually gonna do is do just like a little mini session with not necessarily belly pictures, but just like some pictures for our channel or something cool like that, you know, get some new pictures because our old ones are kind of outdated and totally unprofessional. Like, we just don't have any professional pictures. ones. We don't have any professional pictures. We haven't got any professional pictures made of us since our engagement or our wedding pictures. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Go ahead and check out her Facebook page and her website so that you can stay posted to see when the pictures are posted after she, she does, does good like pictures she does really good but go look at her stuff and see i know a lot of y'all live in the central alabama ish area um she also is doing some beach sessions this summer oh, so if you're cool. planning to go to the beach she's great and wonderful and we totally totes my goats recommend her actually my friend levita from work is getting her i think to do her engagement pictures if i'm wrong oh nice i might be wrong but I'm, and she just had twin girls she has like four kids under four yeah I don't know how she does what she she's does. She's got two boys yeah, and then she just had twin cute girls. Cute little twin girls that are six months old and they're just precious. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's how our photo sessions should yeah, be. Yeah, that's exactly what it should be. But some of those are like legitimate, decent poses if you're not pretending with pillows. But some of them, when I was looking on Pinterest, were just so funny to me. Like, sorry if some of y'all have actually <laughs> used some of those. Not all of them were bad. I mean, they would be okay if you were actually wearing, I mean, you were really looking pregnant. Yeah. But the one of the girl poking her head out from behind the wall, <laughs> yeah. Like, what is this? It was like her head and her belly, and she's like, hmm. There was one with the guy that she showed me holding a watermelon, <laughs> yeah. and then he had cantaloupes up here. Yeah, he was wearing like his underwear, yeah. and the girl had on her underwear, and so she's sitting there with her belly and 
holding her boobs up like this, and then the guys got cantaloupes and a watermelon, and it was just, I was mm -hmm. like, Colin, we should do that. <laughs> I'm bringing watermelon to the photo shoot, yeah! I tweet way too much. Did y'all, did you see Emma playing with the baby tiger? Oh, I saw you tweet something about that, but. Look, Bob telling everything. Oh my goodness. Like, it's just like Emma, it, you're gonna die. It's the cutest thing ever. I got my boy. Me and this dude have to stick together, buddy. We stick together. No, don't leave me. We're the only guys left. No, no. Ah! It was right here. And then I came up and she started like army crawling across the bed with her ears back going, Arr. and I was like, you don't even have a bone. And she started like looking and it had fallen down in the crack right here. Oh, no. And I had to get it out, but she was all like that. Look. Like, do not take my bone. But I was like, you don't even have a bone. Oh. That's a good girl. Oh. Don't take, don't act like you're gonna take it. Hey, that's me, Dad. I'm not even chewing on it. Hey, your baby. Oh, your baby. Oh, my goodness. Stop. <laughs> so vicious. Laundry. Laundry alert. I'm gonna Every time fold. I here, I'm like, oh. Yeah, there's like three loads that need I folding. I keep just picking out the clean clothes every day from the dryer. <laughs> Me too. Every morning I go and get underwear. Every And every time I'm like, okay, the next time I'm gonna have to like put them all up. And then I, Cullen actually went and bought new underwear the other day. Because I tried to. Oh, yeah, you never did buy yeah, any. What I are never, you even wearing? The ones that were in there. Five pairs of boxers and it rung up 40 bucks. It was we were so like, weird, we were at Cullen's. Uh, okay, never mind. I don't need underwear that way bad. I told the lady, check it out, I was like, Guess I'm just gonna have to go commando the rest and of the week. And she was like, I don't know, 17 or something. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> we will see you tomorrow. Catch you on the website. Bye. Even though we said we're slow. We'll see where it goes. I already know if you're asking that you're the one for me. You're the one for me, babe.